Hi, Derek with Continental Door here. I'm going to show you how to program your limits on an LDCO 800 uh, motor. And so this is a DC motor. If you have an AC motor, so an LDO 50, um, with uh, limits on the side, you'll notice um, icons and limits on the side here. That is different from a DC. A DC you'll see up and down, and that's how you also, also you'll see the housing will match this. So what you do is first you start with your open limit. So you push and hold, up and learn, at the same time simultaneously, until it clicks three times. Then release, and now you push and hold your up. And you're gonna just be, it'll be in a super slow mode just to make sure it's safe. And you're gonna hold it until it reaches your desired up. And if you were on accident to um, open the door too far, you can just simply bump your down limit and get it just perfect. Now when I'm setting this, I like to set my door, the bottom section, just slightly above the bottom, the weather strip. So I'd like my door <clears throat> right there to where if you were to hit, you wouldn't hit the door, you'd hit the header before. But you don't want it so high, for instance, like up there. That's not desirable, you should never have your door opening more than, than it should. Um, it, it'll slack cables, it's not good on the system. So I went too far, I'm gonna just simply go down and right there is where I like it. So then you push your learn and that locks and you're up. Now you're gonna set your down. So push and hold, learn and down and it's, it starts the sequence over again. It flashes three times, now I'm gonna get my down. Now the same thing, kind of like you're up with your down, is you don't want it too tight. Um, a a, a hard-working door or um, overdriving your limits is going to just fatigue the system. You also might notice as your concrete changes or weather changes, the door might hit the ground in reverse, thinking it hit an ob object, but it's just because it's um, too tight. So what I like to do is I like the door just to kind of coast stop. So right, right there, just a little bit more. About there, that looks really good. Um, I like to look at my pickup arm there in the center. I don't want it overdriving. So then at that point, I like that. And same thing, if you went too far, too low, you can always, um, you can always go up or down. So then you push learn to lock it in. And now after that, I like to do a full cycle. So go on up, and then we'll go back down to make sure that it's holding the limits and we like what we uh, programmed. Now also one thing unique about a DC motor is it's always setting its own force. Unlike an AC motor, it's always adjusting its force into an equation. It's never too much or too little. So I still like that. That's still holding the same. Now we're going to go on the down and uh, make sure it's sitting on the down. And if we're happy, we've, we've successfully programmed our limits. Perfect. Well, thanks for watching and for any other help or tips, watch our YouTube channels or um, feel free to call us or look us up online.